Now, mom's cooking. With Mother's Day this Sunday, my boys, Carter and Theo, decided to help me out in the kitchen, whipping up one of their favorite recipes. My two boys are very picky eaters, so if your kids are the same, these muffins are a great way to sneak in some extra nutrients in your kid's meal. Take a look. Hi, welcome to our house. Let's get cooking. So we've got our ingredients, blender, recipe. What am I missing? Oh wait, there you guys are. <laughs> so I developed my love for cooking because of my mom. She loved cooking. Sadly, she passed away four years ago this coming September. I miss her every single day. I'm so blessed that I now get to share that love for cooking with my own kids. Boys, what are we making today? Hulk Wait, we can do better than that. How about arms up in the air? Let me see your muscles. Hulk muffins! So boys, why do we call them Hulk muffins? Because they're green! And what makes them green? Spinach! Instead of traditional flour, this recipe actually uses old-fashioned rolled, what are these? Oats. Oats. And you put them in a blender and that makes the flour. So now we're gonna combine all the dry ingredients, okay? So there's our oats. Now we're gonna add in our ground flax seed. I don't need help. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Cinnamon, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Can you add that in? Good job. Sugar. Sugar, all right, so add the sugar, ready? Nice. All right, so our rack is in the middle of the oven. We're gonna set our oven to bake at 375. So now we're gonna do the wet ingredients. So Carter, can you put the spinach in the blender for me? Do you wanna wait till it's all blended in? Two ripe bananas, quarter of a cup of coconut oil. I don't need help doing that. Two eggs that we're adding in, ready? Teaspoon of vanilla extract. I do it. And there we go. Add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Oh, Johnny, your poor GoPro. You don't wanna make sure there's no lumps in it. And we're gonna put it in the muffin tins, okay? We're gonna pour them in our muffin tins. Good job, Carter. All right, Theo, your turn. Where are you gonna put that one in the blue? Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, ready to put them in the oven? Yeah! Here we go. So those are going in for 20 minutes. Who wants a muffin? Don't they look good? Ready? <laughs> That's for Johnny. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Now the recipe my mom was known for was her New England clam chowder, yes. which oh I my know goodness. Tony loves. And I have to make it without cream for Mike. Uh, she passed that down to me. That recipe though is a secret, so I couldn't make that one for you. Um, but just like Carter and Theo, I'm always giving Mike and Tony grief about eating three square meals a day, getting some veggies in. So we like muffins. I made yeah. sure <laughs> that you guys could try these. So it's take us. one and pass right. it. There you go, Tony. All right. These are great because you can include blueberries or chocolate chips. You can freeze them. So we're going to do this right now, okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like banana bread. Very good. Right? It yep. If you closed your eyes, you wouldn't know there's spinach in it. And flaxseed, too, which is really good for you. Um, you can add nuts yeah. to them if you want. <laughs> okay, Papa. <laughs> we have the whole recipe, by the way, on WPRI.com. And coming up at 5.30, Kim Kalunian and her baby girl, Samantha, whip up something yummy, too. Theirs is much more picture perfect. <laughs> and uh, you guys will get to taste that as well. So you're really living the life today. That was a great story. Yes. Oh, Love thank you. The, the boys did great. Yep. Should we do this every every Friday? Uh, that's okay with me. Shannon comes in with food <laughs> just before weather. As long as you bring me some veggies from the garden. Okay. All right. It's a deal. <laughs>